Hi, in this video I wanted to quickly talk about creating an Oracle PL SQL store procedure with a select statement and an input variable, um, an input parameter, um, and then show how to execute that. Um, I didn't see it really anywhere online, so I just thought this would be a good thing um, to have. So to, to create the procedure, um, we just are going to use our create or replace um, pr procedure statement, um, and then we're going to have our 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 input parameter, which is a date here, um, and then we're going to have our output um, cursor, uh, and then so we just um, create here, and then here's our 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 simple select statement. We're just selecting all the records from the customer table where the Week date, um, well, the creation date is greater than the week date. Um, so, um, this is our parameter that we're passing in. So, to create this, we're just going to run that. Um, and you can see we created it. And now we want to execute it in order to test it. Um, so, you know, if you're cr connecting SSRS or Crystal Reports or Bird or any other reporting tool out there, um, you, you know you're going to want to be able to create the store procedure and then you know test it um, from your PL SQL editor. Um, so we have two lines here where we need to create the um, declare the variable uh, for the cursor output, um, and then we actually want to execute the store procedure itself. Um, and then this is where uh, we pass in the date. I'm going to make sure it's the right format. Oracle's very particular about their dates. And um, and so that's where we're passing in the date and then our output cursor. So let's run this. Okay, great. Hopefully that was helpful. So this is how to create a simple PL SQL Oracle um, store procedure and then execute that store procedure. Thank you.